here's uh, Jim in Brooklyn. Hello, Jim in Brooklyn. Hi, Riley. Oak Ridge One. Oak Ridge One. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I know you said that when you make love to someone, um, you make them younger. Uh, oh. I was wondering, uh, does that make Elon nine years old because you fuck him in the ass? Uh, uh, well, no, no, good man. Uh, however, I'd be glad to make your old lady younger. Send her over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's uh, Gus in New Mexico. Hello, Gus in New Mexico. Hello, Riley. How are you? Okay, Gus. My question to you is, um, I heard you have to move into a new apartment and stuff. Um, right. Are you are you going to be able to suck uh, Iran's yeah. dick there? <laughs> Get uh, All right, uh, here's a... Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Gus, uh, going back to doing what you're doing, son. Uh, shame on you and everything. I hope your old lady ain't there to hear that about what you've been doing. Next call, this is Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Hi, Larry. Oak Ridge Engine One. How are you? Okay, Oak Ridge Engine One, Mike. Uh, I had a quick question. Um, yeah, I know that uh, that Steven Singer Jewelers are a uh, sponsor of yours. Right. Uh, I was wondering if uh, if you go to Steven Singer's to get uh, fancy necklaces to give to Iran to suck your penis. <laughs> uh, no, no, hey kid, uh, hey kid. Steven Singer's not sent him, sent me anything, uh, anything of that nature, and what have you. Uh, and so, but, uh, you go there and he'll give you a good deal for you, you know, to get your boyfriend to do that to you. I'm sure he will. I am sure. <laughs> Any idiot could come up with that. This is Mike in, I don't know where he's at. Mike. Mike? Uh, Riley, hi. Oak Ridge Engine 1. Oak right. Ridge Engine 1, Mike. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, fuck you and your gay son. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, super, now that, is, that is cruel, man. Ignorant. Trying to talk about my son. Cruel too. Yeah, and I don't like that either. So Me either. I'm going to send something on you, uh, Mike. <laughs> Next call. This is uh, Bill in Las Vegas. Hello, Bill in Las Vegas. Hey, Riley, love the show. Thanks. Um, yeah, I was. I mean, Stern's got to give you a raise here one of these days. I think I heard that there's three of you now living in there. In that yeah, yeah, apartment. yeah. Matt Panther and I. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to introduce him too. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get his own headset. Uh, hopefully by next week, so he can chime in as he so desires. But uh, as for I'll add some new spice to the show, you know. Oh, definitely. And, uh, mm -hmm. What What's it like living together? Is this like gay sex all the time? Or? Uh, well, <laughs> no, son. Uh, we all got uh, we all got lovely women. You uh, sandwich you know. him like an Oreo cookie, you and Iran. Yeah. Oh no, we got uh, lovely women, and Iran can get his own women, son. I I do not have enough of them to share. Where but thanks anyway, <laughs> and uh, but and on top of that, we are willing. Uh, very well. Uh, when we dress up in our like tutus and all that, we want you to. We want, yeah, we want you to send your. We want you to send your old lady over here. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Right. All you, all you have to do then is try to get to try to get the bitch to come back to you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Attention one. How are you? Attention one. How are you, Paul? I, I'm doing all right, Riley. I, yeah, I just wanted to to ask you. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, fuck you, buddy. And uh, fuck yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, now, 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 now. See, you giving Minnesota a bad yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some nice, lovely people up there dick. in Minnesota. I thought they were too. Yeah, and, and, and why would uh, they have that's you living dick. among? Yeah, they should put you out of that state. <laughs> because you are a, a wretched fool. Uh, yeah, now, uh, Stephen, uh, people, we're being brought to you by Stephen Singer Jewelers. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com today. Okay, next call. This is Kevin in Georgia. Hello, Kevin in Georgia. Hey, Riley, Oquatangy One. Oquatangy One, Kevin. Uh, shout out to you, first time caller, long time listener. Well, thanks, and shout out to you and your lovely family. Thanks, you too, on this holiday. Uh, my question is about the uh, Omsa Tri Nexus. Oh, okay. Is the uh, is the Omsa Tri Nexus when uh, you and uh, Iran double team your son? 
Uh, no, no, son, but I think uh, that uh, you should have a copy of that Ohm Sa Tri Nexus, even in as much as it holds a lot of power and what have you. And don't y'all go double teaming them kids over there, here? Mm -hmm. Here's uh, Su Summit in New Jersey. Hello, Summit, New Jersey. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I've heard you uh, speak in the past about how uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind brings back the most memories for you. What? And uh, I, I was wondering if um, if uh, if uh, you and Iran had the most memories brought back from Brokeback Mountain. Uh, well, no, 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 good man. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, I never did go to see the movie because uh, it wasn't, you know, my genre of things to watch. But I understand it was a good movie. Okay. <laughs> Next call, this is John in Denver. Hello, John in Denver. Hey, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, John. You. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I bet you guys are going to have fun stuffing each other's asshole with penis all week. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, uh, but uh, you carry on. Just carry on doing that, okay? His daddy taught him how to do that. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next call, this is Oliver in Georgia. Hello, Oliver. Hey, Riley, what's up? How are you? Oh, okay, Oliver. Well, uh, I'm really glad you, uh, you've been showing your support for the Occupy Wall Street movement. Well, definitely. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've personally been involved with it in uh, the Occupy Atlanta movement for quite some time myself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really glad to hear your support for, the, for our movement. Uh, we've been down here for like a long time now, for about two months. Uh, right. How long have you occupied Iran's balls in your teeth? <laughs> Uh, well, well, kid, I tell you what, you keep occupying the courthouse and get pepper sprayed because it's only a food product. <laughs> All right? It's <laughs> only a food product. <laughs> Degenerate. Back to the calls. This okay. is Jimbo in Pennsylvania. Hello, Jimbo. Hey, guys. Love the show. Um, mm -hmm. I was uh, I was calling up originally about uh, marshmallows, but I heard you talking about that they don't eat meat on the mothership and that they're going to be feeding us. Veggies that taste like meat. Yeah, and if uh, that's, yeah, if that's what you want. But will you, right, will you still be able to eat Iran's cock on a daily basis? Uh -huh. Well, uh, well, no. But I tell you what, uh, you keep on eating them over there where you are, son, and uh, you may become truly famous. Okay, you just keep on doing it, doing what you're doing. This is John in Colorado. Hello, John in Colorado. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay. Um, hey. I was uh, wondering, in Colorado, we have, like, they're trying to push these new laws in to regulate marijuana, like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Right. Kind of trying to branch away from the medical thing and just kind of fully legalize it to anyone over 21. And I was just wondering, you know, I know you're a weed guy, and I was wondering what your stance is on this whole ballot measure they're trying to push. Well, uh, all I know is that somewhere between 40 and 60,000 people a year uh, die from alcohol-related accidents, and another 200,000 will die from alcohol poisoning. I have yet uh, to find any n uh, reasonable number of people who have suffered anything, including a bad appetite, from smoking good herb. Okay. Do you, what about? Do you think they should make it legal to that so you can smoke Iran's cock in public? Uh, well, uh, not necessarily, but you keep on doing it in public out by the bathroom in the park. Just don't have no bag of candy trying to call little kids over there, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, next call. This is Bill, Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill, Pennsylvania. Hey, guys. Uh, I heard uh, that Howard Stern's going to be having Herman Cain on his show. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, are you, are you pissed off that he's having these other black retards on there and not you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I have it on good information that me... Uh, the wife, uh, Iran, and my little white son, Matt Panta, are going to be going into the studio. I don't know if it'll be before Christmas, but maybe it might be after the first of the year, but we are going in to talk. <laughs> it's going to be uh, before or after you suck Iran's cock. Uh, well, no, son, you ought to quit that now, <laughs> because because that is not good for you, and it will spoil your reputation, and if the other people who know you hear your voice and know that it is you, then, you know, you ain't going to be able to ride in the pickup truck with him no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, now we know what a real retard is. Yeah, right. Next call, this is Ron in Philadelphia. Hello, Ron in Philadelphia. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I want to give, give you a shout-out here. I'm digging the show. Okay. And um, 
I just got that bobblehead from you, man, like just recently. That thing is hilarious. So talk hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. It's uh, bobbing up and down on G.I. Joe's dick right now. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine he, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, she's doing what he saw you doing. <laughs> that bobblehead. Dan in Texas. Dan in Texas. Hello? Hello, Dan. Yeah, uh, my name is Rick, but... Rick, uh, okay, Rick, okay. Anyway, hey, um, great show, guys. And uh, I read uh, I read your book recently, and it was really good. Mm -hmm. I just disagree with your judgment there on one thing. Uh, in the first chapter, you immediately start raving about sucking Eron's cock all day wow. long and shit. <laughs> well, uh, well, good man, uh, I don't know what book you read. But uh, I'm sure that you read one that you wrote yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. Yeah. Next call. This is Sam in Florida. Hello, Sam in Florida. Hi, Riley. Look at Tangent One. How are you? Look at Tangent One. Uh, yeah, I, I was, I was uh, wondering. You said uh, you mentioned uh, Stonehenge before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, caller brought that up. I, I was interested to know if um, if you had actually counted. Um, if you'd pounded Iran's booty hole in uh, Stonehenge. Uh, uh, no, uh, but, uh, you know, somebody will hit you with a stone, and they will unhinge you, young man. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> yeah, look Next out call. for that. Look out for that. <laughs> Next call. This is Kevin in Georgia. Hello, Kevin in Georgia. Kevin? Shout out to you guys over there. Shout out to you and your family. I have a question. Uh, how many days are in the Bjavin calendar? Oh. Uh, Oh, okay. The beyond, oh, the yearly calendar, you mean? Yeah, like uh, in like one, you know what I mean? Like how many days are in it? I just need to know real quick. Right. I believe it's, uh, what, 740 days or something of that nature. Uh, uh, and right off, good man, I cannot tell you, but I did know it. Oh, I think it's like 740 days. Seven times 365, put it like that. So, um, if, hmm? if, I, if I had to estimate, I would say that you you uh, shoot about seven hundred and forty loads into Eron's mouth a year. <laughs> uh, well, no, son. I, I believe you shoot them into your sister's mouth. <laughs> so you got me mixed up with her. <laughs> next, next, call. <laughs> this is, next call. This is Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Hey, Riley. Who caught attention one? I caught attention one, Mike. I listen. I'm driving on the New Jersey Turnpike right now, mm -hmm. and it smells pretty awful. I, I don't know if you smell it. It smells awful. Uh, yeah. I was wondering if uh, your son's asshole smells the same mm -hmm. when you fuck him. Well, no, no. That uh, that would be your auntie. <laughs> That's your smelling son. Here's Bill in Texas, Riley. Hello, Bill in Texas. Hey, guys. It's great you guys uh, are able to come on this week. Yeah, yeah. We I think now. Next week, we're, we're, you're going to do a rerun next week. However, we're not mad at him. Bill. Uh, you're not? What? No, I'm not mad at them this time, Bill, because, you know, they're taking up the slack on that, however. Uh, you oh, know, my name's Phil, actually. Phil. Okay, Phil. Phil. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's cool you guys are supporting that Occupy movement, too. Yeah, man. definitely. I, definitely. <laughs> I mean, uh, how long have you been occupying Iran's asshole mm. with your cock? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, about as long as you've been occupying, uh, you know, your boyfriends and no doubt your school teacher and your little sister and uh, all that that, you know, you're playing football with. <laughs> Josh in Tennessee. Hello, Josh in Tennessee. Hey, Riley. I was, uh, you mentioned that you have a gift for everybody later on. And yeah. uh, someone told me that you're going to be giving out free BJs uh, under I-95. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, no, that was... Uh, your old lady, man, at the truck stop. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. All right, here's Chris in Jacksonville. Hello, Chris in Jacksonville. Hey, Riley. I was wondering, for Christmas, are you going to be under the mistletoe sucking you on dick? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, I'm going to be on the <laughs> mistletoe banging your old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many people occupied with other people's genitals. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all right, next call. This is Bob in Burbank. Give him a large one. Well, I'm telling you what. Drinking here, man. You know what I mean? Hey, I was wondering, uh, what, do you think your dentures out when you give Iran a BJ or what? Uh, no, uh, but kid, uh, you better, better get you some dentures, man, so you uh, won't be gumming too hard. 
This is Donnie in New Jersey. Hello, Donnie in New Jersey. Hey, Riley, shout out to you. Shout out to you, Donnie. Hey, Iran, shout out to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Shout out to John the Hammer or whatever. <laughs> Double O. Yeah. You have a question? Hello. You have a question? Shout out. Yeah. Jeez. And shout out to the audience. Okay. So my question is, uh, Riley, I heard you've been on Japanese TV. Yeah. Um, I think I saw you on one of those Bukaki game shows, right? That's where you were on? <laughs> no, it wasn't, wasn't a game show, my man. One of the games. The, the, uh, fortunately, fortunately, the Japanese recognized my information long before I was discovered, so to speak, by the uh, establishment in America. Uh, because they know that I know that a ship fell on Hokkaido in 1952. Yeah. Yeah, I was just another idiot. Next yeah. call. All right, this is Matt in Georgia. Hello, Matt in Georgia. Hey, what's up, Riley? How you doing? Okay, Matt. I was wondering, if you do translations into the Biavian language? Uh, I can. Uh, I am fairly efficient in the Biavian language, yes. Mm -hmm. can, you translate, can you translate uh, Robbie Martin as a dickless hack? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, well, my goodness. Uh, why don't you look in the mirror and the translation of what you are will come to you. <laughs> uh, Mike in Brooklyn. Okay, Mike in Brooklyn. Mike? Are you there, Mike? Oh, well, he's not. So go on to the next call. Okay, next question, next call. Here's Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Hi, Riley. Oakwood Tension 1. How are you? Oakwood Tension 1, Mike. Um, yeah, I know you said that you have um, you have hybrid children on the uh, mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know what? I know... On Earth, you like to fuck your son in the ass. Do you fuck your hybrid children also? Uh, well, no, no, son. Uh, and uh, and my son is grown. And uh, you quit doing that to your boy, okay? <laughs> Next call, this is Kevin in Atlanta. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Riley. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Great. Uh, I want to first compliment you on having a gay-friendly show because a lot of shows on satellite radio are pretty offensive with their language. Yeah. And my boyfriend and I listen to your show all the time, and we're big fans. My, uh, my question mm -hmm. to you is, um, uh, as a fan of Star Trek The Next Generation, how quickly can you make Eron orgasm? Uh, well, actually, uh, Eron has actually uh, got a slow hand, so the women say. Nonetheless, I am sure that you may be able to accomplish it in light speed. You and your partner. You see what I mean? All right, next call. This is Ray in Baltimore. Hello, Ray in Baltimore. Hey, guys. Um, oh. My friend, uh, he recently just finished reading your book, mm -hmm. and so he gave it to me, and he told me, like, a lot of things about it already. Right. But I was wondering, what what chapter is it where you guzzle all that uh, Biavian semen? Uh, well, no. Uh, actually, the chapter, read over there, chapter... Uh, 69, where you will see yourself depicted uh, trying to show me how to do it. The next mm -hmm. car, Riley, this is Josh in Kentucky. Hello, Josh in Kentucky. Hey, guys, how's it going? Okay. Uh, I'm not actually in Kentucky. I'm uh, next door butt-fucking your wife. And I uh, yeah, we well, have peanut well, butter here. Get yeah, it well, 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 son, take care of yourself. Coward. Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, right. good man. Next call, mm -hmm. this is Gary in New Mexico. Hello, Gary in New Mexico. Yeah, I was thinking, like, for resolutions, you should really stop sucking Eron's cock. Yeah, oh, yeah, stop. right, right, right. And you should uh, try to go and eat Carl Rose poop. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's suffering from a low sperm count. <laughs> right. Here's, here's Franklin in New Jersey. Hello, Franklin in New Jersey. Hey, guys, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Franklin. Hey, I was wondering if you were going to address uh, all these prank callers on the Howard Stern show tomorrow, if you're still going on. And yeah. I was also wondering um, <laughs> if uh, if your New Year's resolution is to keep ripping people off and to keep sucking me, Ron and Matt. Pants yeah, well, off. I mean, <laughs> no, no, a... what I'm saying, uh, but, but uh, if that is your New Year's resolution, uh, you keep doing that, son, but only do it with another adult, okay? Idiot. Next call. This is Evan in Georgia. Hello, Evan in Georgia. Hey, guys. Happy New Year. Hey, hi. 
Um, is, uh, is your wife's New Year's resolution to pull her dick out on Star Trek? No, well, well hey, uh, hey, my man, uh, no, but uh, if your wife pulls hers out, um, I would gladly, you know, bring her on Stern, okay? <laughs> All right, next call. This is Roy in Texas. Hello, Roy in Texas. Hey, Riley. Hey, did you get uh, drunk on New Year's Eve or are you too busy drinking here on semen? Uh, well, uh, no, no, but uh, you keep on doing that, son. But I'll just stick to my middle light beer, okay? Idiot. All right, uh, this is Josh in Philadelphia. Hello, Josh in Philadelphia. Hey, Riley, you still sucking Eron's cock on a mm. daily basis? Yeah, well, no, Josh, but I'm sure that's what you are doing and everything, and so you keep on doing that, son. And uh, why, I wonder did you give your correct name because, you know, your boyfriend won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. next call. This is Bill in Colorado. Bill in Colorado. Hey, Riley, I saw you on Howard TV this past week, man. Oh, you look good. You? Thanks. Um, yeah, you spent a lot of time talking about how poor you were and everything, but, I mean, if you're so broke, how'd you afford that transsexual hooker that you brought on the show yeah. with you? Well, you know, son, you, you shouldn't talk like that about uh, nice ladies and things like that, because she is not like your wife, okay? <laughs> Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Hi, Riley, Oak Court Engine 1. How are you? Oak Court Engine 1, Mike. Uh, yeah, I heard you on Stern the other day. Um <laughs> Yeah, I heard it was, uh, it was you and your wife. Uh, I, I can really see now uh, why you slapped the shit out of her. She's got a really loud nut. <laughs> I, uh, no, never did, son. Never did. Don't have to do that to be a man, son. Okay, here's Alfred in New Jersey. Hello, Alfred in New Jersey. Alfred? Hey, how are you? Okay, Alfred. It's great seeing you on the Howard Stern Show with uh, your wife, Joy, last yeah. week. Oh, cool. I've seen you guys. Uh, I, I didn't know she was a teacher. That's pretty cool. Yes, yeah. I had a hard time getting her to go in, too, man. That's cool. Uh, did she teach Iran how to be a cocksucker? Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, but uh, you're learning something about that, son, and ca carry on, but, you know, don't yeah, come well, over through this way. Yeah, yeah. Don't get caught in this yeah. part of Jersey, okay? Riley, 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 Riley. And don't make people hate Riley, you. Hey, don't on. make people Riley, hate you, on. because if you make people question. hate you, you one will question. feel that hatred one coming one through the ether. In fact, I will one show one. you uh, Riley, of what one. you can feel, son, before sunrise, okay? Get him out of here. Yeah. I have one more question. Yeah. I have one more question. Um... Hey, Get him uh, out of here, please. All right, next call. Can we go to the next call? Yeah. All right, this will be Dan in Houston. Dan in Houston. How you doing tonight, guys? Okay, Dan. Good. Man, that last call was an asshole. Turtle in West Virginia, Riley. Hello, Turtle in West Virginia. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on a truck stop here in West Virginia. Okay. I was told if I uh, call this number, some bitch named Joy will suck my dick. Uh, well, uh, no, but I tell you what, if you get out of the truck and walk over there, uh, there's a dude over there named Bubba who will kick your ass, and you can suck his dick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> be honest, man. Don't you think some people should be beat to death? Here's Mike in Brooklyn, Riley. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Uh, hi, Riley. Oak Attention 1. How are you? Oak Attention 1, Mike. Um, yeah, I, I I've uh, purchased a... Uh, a lot of stuff from the website. I have um, I have a couple of symbols. Okay. I have I have a mug. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I have I have one of the piss jugs from when you used to sell those. I, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. That we don't have many more, but uh, boy, that, people, that's an heirloom. You got the bobble here too. I'm sorry. Do you have the bobble here too? Oh the yeah, yeah. I got, I got the bobble head. No, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't even find a bobble head anymore. <laughs> I'm a I'm a big fan of all of them, but I I, want, I was wondering um, how many chachkis do I have to get before I can fuck your wife and aunt? Uh, well, uh, well, well, I'll tell you. Time. Well, I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you, kid. You ain't gonna never in life get to that point. Stick with lower animals and your sister. Okay. Go get a life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is John in Colorado. Hello, John in Colorado. Hey, Riley. Hey, wonder did you get to catch Obama's speech earlier? Yes, I did. Oh, cool. Did you hear the part where he was talking about you fucking Iran in the yeah, ass? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, no, he's talking about you fucking uh, them little boys in the park and all of that type of stuff, son. 
Don't make people hate you. You already have given sway to Klu Klukism and uh, trying to go up there and suck uh, Hannity's butt. So take your time, son. Uh, bless your heart. Off with his head. All right, here's Josh in Philadelphia. <clears throat> right. Hello, Josh in Philadelphia. Hey, Riley. Hey, I, I have your album, man, too, you know. Cool. It fucking sucks, though. You should stick to sucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, uh, well, son, uh, uh, you ought to listen to my album, uh, you know, when you're hiding in the park with a bag of candy trying to, to get those little children to come over there. Here's Frank in Illinois. Oh, Frank in Illinois. Lord have mercy. Hey, are, are crop circles real? Because, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of these things on TV, but uh, right. I also thought it could just be imprints of, like, from you and Iran. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, no, no, that was your sister sitting in the crop. <laughs> All right, next call. This is Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Uh, hi, Riley. Oh, Cortez One. How are you tonight? Oh, Cortez One, Mike. I'm okay. I I heard you uh, heard you mentioning the State of the Union address before. Uh, I was at work at the time. I missed it. Oh, wow. Uh, I heard. Yeah, yeah. I heard. Um, I heard he said a, a lot of things. I heard he said that um, every American gets a crack at your wife. Uh, I yeah. Well, yeah. Like well, yeah. I know. Uh, but you see, uh, everybody else is getting a crack at your wife while you out there working. And uh, so uh, share her with me. Next call, this is Carl in Wisconsin. Hello, Carl in Wisconsin. Hey, Riley, how are you? Okay, Carl. It's good to hear your voice tonight mm -hmm. after such an inspirational speech by Barack Obama earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did good. <laughs> I was very impressed. Uh, do you get the kind of standing ovation whenever you swallow a load of cones? Yeah, well, uh, no, well, I, I'm sure you do, though, son, and continue to do so. <laughs> <Doesn't> <laughs> that, to don't, do. don't these people make these uh, no, no, just, yeah, want to stop uh, us, yeah, when, uh, want to not yeah, uh, yeah, airlift when, us out of here? <laughs> yeah, he, he's thinking about uh, <laughs> doing a blowjob on Hannity. Right. With that box here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, next call, this is Clifford in Vermont. Hello, Clifford in Vermont. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for taking my call. Well, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys are on the radio instead of uh, fucking each other's ass. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. you know. Well, son, I'll tell, I'll tell you what. I'll get you a radio show and show us how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next call, this is Paul in Minnesota. Hello, Paul in Minnesota. Uh, hi, Riley. Oak Court Tension 1. Oak Court Tension 1, uh, Paul. Listen, I I, I was uh, I was on the air earlier. I think I got disconnected or something. But I uh, I was wondering if uh, everyone in America is going to get to fuck your wife. Cause yeah, Barack well, Obama said. Uh, well, uh, no, son. Uh, but uh, everyone in America wants you put yours up for sale. I got five dollars. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Here's Bill in Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill in Pennsylvania. Hey, Riley. Hey, I I heard Fran Drescher got abducted by aliens this past week. Yeah, well, yeah, she was saying that at some point in her life that uh, she had had an alien experience. And I found out that uh, her boyfriend owned the Fran Dresser show is named Riley Martin, which is... Oh, which, really? Does, yeah. does he suck a bunch of black cocks? Uh, uh, yeah, well, no, it just, it just uh, uh, seemed to be something like a coincidence, but I, I like her. So, you know, she can go ahead and use my name if she wishes. This is Chris in Arizona. Chris in Arizona. Hold on, Buckaroo. Is, oh, this, is this the real Chris? Uh, no, that couldn't be. Because nobody's got a breath that long. <laughs> I think he's done. Yeah, move right. on, man. All right, let's move it along. Here's, uh, all right, here's Chris from Arizona. Hello, Chris from Arizona. Come on, Chris. Well, come on, Chris. Chris? Come on. Okay. All right, here's an email. Here's an email. This is, uh, this is... This email question is from Rob Weldon. 
I don't know. We're trying to get rid of Chris, Chris. But anyway, I'm going to talk over it. This email question is from Rob Weldon. Okay. And he's asking. Well, how is that? This is uh, this is Rob Weldon. Yeah, how is that that uh, this call cannot be discontinued? You know. Yeah, what is up on that? I don't know. Has he figured out a different way to interfere? Yes. This is the second week it's happened. That's a good question. Yeah. Okay, here's Nelson in Arizona. Hello, Nelson in Arizona. Hey, Riley, how you doing tonight? Okay, Nelson. I loved your story time yesterday. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, my goodness, yeah. And uh, Tim was going to orchestrate it for me, and he he seldom does that. And I don't like people, you know, butting in and telling me about what I should say. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> so I, I got a question about uh, solar mm -hmm. flares. Uh, mm -hmm. Having a lot of recent solar activity. And um, actually, out here in Arizona, I'm, I'm hanging out right now with, uh, with uh, your friend Chris, Chris in Arizona. He's fucking my dick right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Well, why are you uh, talking about that good man in that manner? You shouldn't be doing that. If he was around you, he'd rip your head off, kid. <laughs> All right, next call. This is Chris in Arizona. Hello, Chris in Arizona. How you doing, Mr. Martin? In your okay, room? okay, Chris. Good, Chris. Good, good. Um, in regards to that very first call of the night, the only reason he got me confused with me and his sugar daddy was because um he found out I might be his father because I fucked a lot of whores in my time. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, Chris. Uh, yeah, you try and forgive him. I everything. will. Yeah, because uh, Newt, Newt, you know, has him over there uh, cleaning out his toilet and stuff like that, and he thinks he's hot stuff. You know, I hear you. Here's Roscoe in the Mississippi. <laughs> Hello, Roscoe in Mississippi. Hey, what's up, guys? I was wondering, do, do you, a lot of gay guys live on New Bolt Court? Because I'm thinking... Of yeah, well, well, no, no, they live over there right next door to you, son. Uh, in fact, they live in your house. <laughs> Kurt in Philadelphia. Hello, Kurt in Philadelphia. Yo, baby, I just want to say New Bolt Court... It yeah. Yeah, Kurt. Uh, okay, Kurt. We know where you are. Mm -hmm. All right, next call, Riley. This is Lewis in Nashville. <laughs> oh, Lewis in Nashville. Hey, what's up, Riley? Uh, uh -huh. Thanks for making the music CD available. Oh, thanks. But I just want to urge all listeners to download or, you know, purchase your music album. It's pretty good. Thanks, stuff. thanks. We thought it was. I, I got a favorite song. I'm not sure the name, but it kind of goes like this. Do you remember the name of that song? <laughs> uh, 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 no, that was me in the bathroom at the studio. <laughs> okay, but no, uh, but uh, you're probably talking about Wheel in the Sky. That's a beautiful song. Paulo in Texas. Hello, Paulo, Texas. Hey, Riley, how you guys doing tonight? Okay, Paulo. Good. It was really cool seeing you on MTV last <laughs> night. I mean, I, yeah. I'm, I'm getting really, I'm getting really excited about the up upcoming offers you're going to be getting and like all the new shows you're going to be on and just getting the name out there is really good well yeah i appreciate that mm -hmm. yeah i mean i really think that great things are going to happen because of this mtv thing oh cool now, mm -hmm. my question to you is how long will it take you to realize that what i just said is bullshit uh, well, I mean, otherwise, we'll see. Uh, if I pop up somewhere, then uh, what you're saying is bullshit, right? Uh, however, uh, if I if I don't pop up somewhere, then you're telling the truth about what you believe. Nonetheless, let us see, good man. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Mark in Dover. Hello, Mark in Dover. Mark. Hey, uh, what's up, Riley? Well, how are you, Mark? I'm doing good, man. Uh, I have a question. Well, like, like I start pickling things, like like uh, cucumbers and red onions and you know preserve things. Yeah. Uh huh. And like, if I were to uh, pickle my balls, would you suck them? Uh, no. Well, no. If you pickle your balls, son, bend way over and suck them yourself. But don't be laying out in the street so you'll get run over by a car. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Next call. This is Josh in Denver. Hello, Josh in Denver. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, 
Dude, I saw some of your drawings, actually, before I get to my question. They were really good. Uh, I saw mm-hmm. one of this hot alien girl that was awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you should have showed some of your skills on Rob Derdick's show and started sucking cock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, kid, uh, you keep on doing that, and I wish you well. You understand? But don't cast aspersions on people with different lifestyles. That is your lifestyle. Gary in Texas, Riley. Hello, Gary in Texas. Hey, what's up, man? I'm just saying out here in Chris from Arizona sucking my dick as usual. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's Richard in North Dakota. Hello, Rich in North Dakota. Hello, Riley. Quam Salajuan. Quam Salajuan, Rich. Happy birthday. Um, Thanks. Uh, are you 66? Is that how old you are? Right? That, uh, that is how old I am. Well, that is just to hear you've lived so long and you've been so healthy. Yeah, well, pretty pretty much, you know, a little bent and spindled and mutilated, but uh, yeah. I have no outstanding illnesses. Well, hey, you sound great tonight. Hey, d- did uh, Iran and Matt Tanter give you birthday cock to eat? Uh, no, no, good man, but uh, you go ahead and do that. If there's such thing as a zombie, there it was, folks. Well, yeah. All right, here's Gilman in Oklahoma. Hello, Gilman in Oklahoma. Homeboy. Hey, hey, Riley, how's it going, man? <laughs> okay. Man, I got a two far question. First of all, do you speak in the Mechian? And also, would you suck my pickles on the fire ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. Really? Yeah. Hey, man, with that type of hatred in you, man, it'll be bitter on your tongue, and it'll be acidic on your stomach, and it'll kill you. <laughs> Next call, Bill in Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill in Pennsylvania. Riley, do you listen to soft classical when Eron's blowing you? <laughs> All right. Next call, this would be Kevin in Canada, Riley. Hello, Kevin in Canada. Hey, Riley, what's going on? Uh, not much, Kevin. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks, Kev. Got to get your dick sucked on the air. <laughs> Can you make a case now at this time? Briefly, why why should they even save humans? I mean, it, w- well, it wouldn't make any difference in the big scheme of things for them to save us, would it? Oh, oh well, you see, you can't listen to Kev <laughs> and the rest of them because these are the the sociopathic uh, perverts yes. among humankind. This is Tommy in Maryland. Hello, Tommy in Maryland. Hey Riley, uh, you know, happy birthday and everything. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I really want to buy your symbol, but I feel like you're showing a little disrespect to your fans by doing your show uh, drunk tonight. I mean, you're slurring words. Well, I mean, uh, you know, well, I I thought I was talking rather plainly, good man. Excuse me, I, let me please finish. You're slurring words. You're having Iran repeat things. I mean, you're coming off as a belligerent, you know, asshole. You know. Well, 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 if that's the way you think, I don't think Iran thinks in that manner. And, uh, uh, and, and what have you so I'm like, well, well you know I, I am so I'm so sorry that I seem to so have uh, insulted you good man it's not fair yeah. you're doing no drunk when we're trying to do some serious yeah. having well serious my goodness things. my goodness I, I believe yeah. that uh, I, that I believe that my vocabulary uh, is uh, more clearer than yours good man and so, you know, you may have that thought, but I don't think the bulk of the listeners uh, has such thoughts about uh, my diction, so to speak. So take care. No, you sound crystal clear tonight to me. All right, here is Paul, Wisconsin. Hello, Paul in Wisconsin. Paul. Man, hey, uh, tickle me this, tickle me that. Hmm. You have a question? Happy birthday. Oh, well, thank man, you. I, I, man, I'm, I'm trying to say happy birthday. I, I, I had a song. Oh, okay. Can Thanks. I, Thanks, Paul. Can I, can I finish? Can I finish my song? Oh uh, well, well, no, we're we're not doing a musical here, Paul. But all right, all right, well, mm-hmm. all right. Tickle me this, tickle me that. Hey, Iran, suck my nutsack. <laughs> oh, hey, that was spiffy. But you're still an idiot. <laughs> Todd in Colorado. Hello, Todd in Colorado. Hey, Riley. Long time listener, first time caller. Okay, Todd. I heard about, well, 
First of all, I heard that you tend to get down with the cannabis sometimes, which is pretty cool. I had a question about something else. Do you want two CDs? CDs? Yeah, do you want two CDs? Uh, what is he talking about? Yeah, yeah, what are you, what, what are you saying? What are you understand. saying? Let's go to the next call. Yeah. It's Chris in Arizona. Okay, Chris. How about that Rosebud? And that <laughs> gentleman that was calling earlier about asking you if he wanted the CD, those two CDs? Yeah. Yeah. He, he was asking you if, you if you wanted to see his nuts. Uh, yeah, so, well, well, no, I didn't. Uh, I really didn't want to see his nuts. Well, but. that's why I, I'm glad you hung up on the fool. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I didn't uh, really want to do it, but I didn't know that that was a code word for looking yeah, at his nuts. Yeah, well, anytime right. anybody wants to see these, that's what... Right, right, right. Well, anyway, anyway, yeah, right, no doubt. He is one of those uh, uh, teabaggers uh, that's trying to destroy this society. This is Mark in New Jersey. <laughs> Hello, Mark in New Jersey. Hello, Riley. How are you? I'm a okay, Mom. First time caller, long time listener. Uh, Thanks. I think it's pretty great to hear you on at seven o'clock. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, a usually, rarity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Usually, like TV and radio don't have infomercials on until like late at night. But this is cool. I like this. This is awesome. Cool. All right. So, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, I think I have an explanation for uh, some of the lights and stuff that you saw as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, if you're familiar with the phenomenon of swamp gas. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. But, uh, no right, right. Actually, in, uh, in, no, right, in your right, right. case, in your case, it won't be swamp gas. Maybe it's the gas from your fat mom's ass. <laughs> well, mom's well ass. Hey, hey, son, hey, son. Now, anybody who says something like that about somebody's mother really does not have respect and love for their own mother. And uh, you should be ashamed, really and truly. Uh, but you see, that was a fat lady. Over your mother's house. <laughs> <They did that>. <laughs> 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 no, it was uh, actually from your sister, uh, who was your mother, by your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next call. This is Ray in Baltimore. Hello, Ray in Baltimore. Hey, guys. Um, oh. My friend, uh, he recently just finished reading your book. Mm -hmm. And so he gave it to me, and he told me, like, a lot of things about it already. Right. But I was wondering, what what chapter is it where you guzzle all that uh, the avian semen? Uh, well, no. Uh, actually, the chapter, read over there, chapter uh, 69, where you will see yourself depicted uh, trying to show me how to do that. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. right. Next call, this is Kevin in Georgia. Hello, Kevin in Georgia. How you doing there, Riley? I'm a okay. First time I'm a long time listener down here in Georgia. Oh, thanks, you. I tell you one thing, uh, you know what I mean? I, I'm glad to hear you back on this year, but it's a damn shame to give you two commercial breaks instead of one commercial break. <laughs> you know. I you, down here we got a thing, you know, two in the pink, one of the things. That's a shocker, baby. Don't let them give you two commercials, man. Just give them one commercial, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Uh -huh. Well, I got a comment for you. Down okay. here recently, I lived down here in Pickens County, Georgia, and mm -hmm. we've seen some lights over the sky. We're thinking about the aliens. Okay. We're thinking might not be aliens. Have you heard anything down here in Georgia about them UFOs or whatever? Well, sure. That I have a lot of beautiful people down there, and I have told them that over the time, between now and late 2012, there will be a lot more sightings than is ordinarily seen. And it, is it true that... um? In comparison to the Albians, that uh, Iran semen tastes a lot better? Uh, well, no, but in comparison to what you do, uh, then uh, no doubt you are seeking that, uh, you know what I mean, that seed of, uh, of uh, retribution that will ultimately guide you into the way of... Uh, depravity and all that and son please take the sheet off your head while you're doing it okay because then that way you can reach back and kiss him okay all right thanks for that call next call all right this is jeremy in new jersey hello jeremy jeremy 
Mr. Martin, how are you doing today? Uh, okay, Jared, uh, Jeremy, how, how are you? I just wanted to let you know that your show was amazing. I love tuning in every week and hearing the same shit. It's amazing. Hey, so, thanks. I, you told me that uh, earlier in the show you said that the, uh, the audience can predict the future. Well, no, I didn't say predict the future. I say said they can, they can, they can more or less give you a projection of the future. If you're poisoning the ocean now, it's going to die tomorrow. You understand, well, like that. Mm -hmm. Well, can they predict that if they put you and Iran in the same studio together that he's going to start having anal sex? Oh, well, no, but uh, he predicted that you would. All right, next call. This is Raul in Brooklyn, Riley. Hello, Raul. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, not so hey, bad. Raul. Hey, man. Hey, I was just wondering. I got like 700 pounds of weed over here that I need to unload, and I heard you were the guy to call to get rid of this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I heard uh, uh, I'll tell you what to do is uh, roll it on over uh, over here, and uh, then uh, let me uh, check it out. And uh, then I'll roll it on back over there. And uh, the hope, that, you know, that you're not on camera or something like that. Uh, uh, you're not wired, okay? All right, next call. This is James in Baltimore. Hello, James in Baltimore. Hey, how's it going, guys? I don't know what happened earlier. Some of the phones, maybe. I don't know. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just, uh, I want to give a shout-out to the BNB, you know, the Brown Noise Boys. And uh, also, mm -hmm. I was wondering, how many uh, small Biavian cocks can you fit in your mouth at once? Uh, well, son, you have to tell me since you've had lots of practice. You see what I'm talking about. All right, next call. This is Rob in New Jersey. Hello, Rob in New Jersey. Hi, Mr. Martin. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good, Rob. How are you? Um, I'm calling you as a concerned parent. I bought mm -hmm. my son an untoward Biavian symbols prototype. And ever since he colored it in, he's been complaining. Well, not really complaining. He's just been mentioning weird stories about dreams involving UFOs. Um, do you feel like there's any sort of connection between... Well, what's his name? And uh, do you have his symbol? Um, his name is uh, Carl. Carl? Okay, do you have his symbol where you can see it? Um, no, I don't have it with me. He's with his mom, actually, right now. Uh, well, okay. Unless go to, uh, well, if he's having, are these dreams disturbing him? Or, or are they, uh, peaceful dreams? Um, he doesn't really talk too much about them. Whenever I ask him for details, he just... I, yeah, I do tell people that when they get the symbols, ultimately they will start to experience things. I do not do negative. I only do positive, period. Uh, and uh, it is quite possible many people have experienced things once they got the symbols, but this is realigning the vibrations around them. Uh, I have never yet, to my knowledge, had a person that had bad experiences from my work because I did not come to do evil, son, uh, Car Rove came to do you evil, not me. And so, uh, I would like go to RoderMartin.com and send me, I'll say, the copy of the symbol or what have you. And uh, I'll do a rereading and I'll see if there's any. And you try to ask him if he is disturbed in any possible manner or if it is so, if it scares him or something like that. And uh, I'll make it right, okay? Okay, what help? Would buying your official talk Riley Martin bobblehead help with the energies? Uh, well, if you buy the bobblehead, then you'd punch the bobblehead, and you'd sit there, and you'd giggle, and you'd go on, and you'd feel better than you do by calling me up and asking me this dumb crap. Shoot me. I'll just try to beat my child next time he paints your pictures. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right to the call, then. This will be Mike in Manhattan. Hey, Mike in Manhattan. Hi, Mike. Oh, got engine one. Oh, got engine uh, one, Mike. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to to speak with you. Mm -hmm. I uh, 
Yeah, I just recently got into you. I didn't know what you were about, but I, I downloaded the book from uh, Torrent Reactor, and it's, uh, it's an excellent book. It's really changed my life. I do believe everything that you, that you mentioned from front to back, beginning to end. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, however, I do find it hard to believe that uh, you were a bare-knuckle fighter. Uh, oh, yeah, is that right? bare-knuckle fighter myself. I'm sorry? Well, is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter for about 10 years now. Okay. Bottom, you, you don't look like much of a fighter. I mean, well, you know, I mean, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, right. I wish you had come and said that to me about 50 years ago, son. I, uh, about I mean, 40 I'm, years I'm ago. I'm 55 years old. I'm not a, I'm not a spring chicken. If you just yeah, like right, down, right. And uh, what, what is your criteria? Right. What is your criteria for looking at a man and knowing his capabilities? Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Bro. It's, it's something that I have. It's a sixth sense, and I know that. Oh uh, yeah, a sixth sense. So me, you you'd have your sick. You'd have a six. You'd have a, an extra sick ass if you ever got in the ring with me in my prime, son. You understand? Yeah, and you're going to tell me what I am capable of doing. Uh, I know not of what you are capable of doing, son, uh, and uh, I don't know how you can make that type of assessment. Anytime you choose to try and measure a man, you're going to end up getting your ass whipped. You understand? And so, therefore, you must not take these things for granted. Uh, and then make assessments that you know not of, and uh, and what have you. You understand? Yeah. You see? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay. Down, hey, son. Don, download some common sense, and uh, see how that works. I I didn't I missed it. Download some common sense and see how that works. Uh, and on top of that, yeah, and on top of that, download a map that shows you how to, uh, if you are 55, uh, then I'd love to see you. Send us a video of one of your yeah, fights. Yeah, send us something of one of your fights. Yeah, yeah and we'd, we'd love to see that. Uh, being as how you're so tough, uh, let us see. Perhaps uh, I can uh, uh, engineer that someone... Uh, would meet you in the very near future, uh, not me because my career is over, but some other a guy in his 50s will meet you in the near future and see what you're made of. How about that? Uh, were you willing for that? You were, you were, uh, give me a place in time. Okay. All right, he's gone. Next call. This is Chris in Arizona. Hello, Chris in Arizona. Chris. Are you there, Chris? Are you there, Chris? Oh uh, no! All right, we'll, Another act of sabotage. We'll go. We'll go to the next call. All right, next call. This is Tron in Philadelphia. Hello, Tron, Philadelphia. Hey, what's going on, Mister Riley? Hey, how are you, Tron? I'm doing good. It's Tron. Um, okay. Yeah, I was just wondering why. Why are you uh, making up all this bullshit about your leg, your shoulder, and your jaw? Just trying to sell symbols. I mean, well, no, I'm it, not trying to sell. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, otherwise. Otherwise, I'll send you my medical records, okay? Yeah, send them to me because I don't buy it. Yeah, well, I'm going to come over there and put them up in your face. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. okay. Well, what you do is, what you do is email me, email me at ridermartin.com. I will kick both your asses. Yeah. Well, bring it, I mean, bring it. And go, ahead, go yeah. get a job. Yeah, go get yeah. a job. Oh, come on. Well, no, no, yeah. they, well, hey, 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 don't argue with these fools, man. Don't argue with these fools. Hey, scream uh, the call. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't well, argue with these fools. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, you I'm are, son, uh, why don't you try to find a girl instead of a boy or a child? Go ahead. This is Mark in Fort Worth. Hello, Mark in Fort Worth. Hey, Riley, how are you? Okay, Ma. Um, I've been listening to you for a while. Mm hmm And I think it was probably like three, maybe four months ago, this one dude, like, spot, uh, talking about bare-knuckle boxing. Yeah, 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 I used to do that many years ago, kid. Did you, did you take that dude on, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I had, on earth, I had 21 fights. I did not lose okay. one. Yeah. By the way, um, 
Like I, I have connections here in Fort Worth, so I was wondering if you'd be down to come down here and you know duke it out with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, good man. You, What's the purse? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, what? Well, well, yeah, the purse. And on top of that, since I'm sixty six, well, I'm sixty six uh, years old, man. I'd have to take uh, if uh, 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 else, you know, uh, uh, spindles uh, by you. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, do you t- so you, you, did you uh, stop training? I guess. Oh well, no. I mean, why is it? My career is over, man. I'm 66 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so, yeah I know that, but but I figured you'd still be like up for a bout or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, otherwise, uh, right now, kid, I couldn't I couldn't meet you heads up and all of that if you were in pretty good shape. However, I would try to accommodate you in some other fashion, uh, and what have you that uh, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, uh, that with a, uh, you know, like a bang, bang or something like that. But I, I can't be fighting you now. And, and on top of that, I'm a peaceful man anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-six years old. He wants you to fight. Yeah, right. Next call. This is Bert in Minnesota. Oh, Bert in Minnesota. Hey, I keep hearing you talk about like the Event Horizon being this thing that's happening in December, but the Event Horizon is actually. Uh, you know, the point in which you can't return from a black hole. Well, I mean, that is uh, that is one elemental of the event horizon uh, when you're dealing with black holes. However, when the sun lines up with the center of the galaxy, which is a great black hole in the galaxy and what have you, and uh, that's generally what calls something like hyperactivity. If the, on- the, if the sun is not a black hole. I say th- that has an effect uh, on sun flares that feeds towards the center of the galaxy ever so often. That's what I'm talking about, good man. man and you there is get the a out of your mouth. Is. Yeah, there is. You gotta get those there is. Out, right? There is a great black hole at the center of this galaxy. And when it lines up with it, watch out for the sun flares. That's all. All right, next call. This is Jim in Colorado. Hello, Jim in Colorado. Jim, uh, you are, man. <laughs> well, 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 I'm still one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. I had another question, but I was, heard you talking that you were saying our DNA is uh, in like horses and deers and all that. Yeah, you know, some some portions thereof. You know, is your DNA in Eron's app? <laughs> uh, uh, Jim, Jim, uh, uh, you know, I thought it was some really nice people out in Colorado, man. Yeah. <laughs> There are some I used to. Yeah, I'm sure it like is. That. Yeah. <laughs> Next call. Right. <laughs> this is Todd in New Jersey, right? Hello, Todd in New Jersey. Hey, Riley. I just want to apologize for all these assholes. Well, calls. no, you don't have to apologize for them, kid. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, well, you got a question? Well, for, uh, yeah, I got a question. Um, I well, you know, I, I want to tell Avon that he shouldn't have to listen to all this crap from people about reading those emails. But my main question is, Riley. You're right. Look, if if, if, if uh, all these Biavians have such advanced technology, how come they can't stop the flow of bullshit coming from your mouth? Uh, yeah, well, uh, they uh, ultimately, if you don't get yourself right, son, they're going to stop yours before they stop mine. And uh, then everything, then you will understand the wherewithal of that of whence you speak, won't you? <laughs> that, makes, that, that, that just makes absolutely no sense. No, oh, doesn't it? Uh, well, I'm sure that it does not make any sense to you. Uh, nor does, nor does the fact that you live in misery uh, and cannot bring yourself to love anyone, uh, not only me, but anyone else, which is why you don't have someone that loves you, too. And so go ahead, son, and uh, live your life as best you can and go around and do some hating and uh, big time and see where that gets you on this planet okay. okay all right next call this is todd in new jersey right hello todd in new jersey hello Riley. i've been a long time listener and i have one question for you okay do you believe in ufos my question is do you also believe in things like astral projections mental telepathy esp clairvoyance spirit photography telekinetic movement full trance mediums the Loch Ness monster and the theory of atlantis yes oh okay well, I, <laughs> I appreciate you uh, being so honest. Um, I, yeah. 
a quick comment. I really want to say I really appreciate your audio book. I downloaded it off the Pirate Bay illegally, and I love listening to it for free. Well, that's that's wonderful, and continue to do so, good man. And uh, no, no doubt it will. Uh, even so, even so, you're getting the information, and hopefully it will serve you well. And, uh, yeah, yeah, right. And uh, the next time, uh, you can, uh, if you see one of your co-workers, uh, and, uh, you can get a hold of their, her purse. Go in yeah, there. No, and, yeah, no, no, go, no, no, go in there and get those, uh, credit cards and all that, and rush out before lunch hour. And, uh, and what have you. Ah, oh, jam her in the hall, hit her in the belly, and get her pin number. And while okay. she's trying to recover, you rush out and, uh, rob the machine, uh, in her name. And, uh, you, boy, you're shown, boy, you're, you're a smart guy. It's really Absolutely. and truly. And also, it, yeah. it, it's, it's not, it, it's not just the book that I got. I, I also don't have series. I download your show illegally. And yeah, well, that, I, went. Well, that is wonderful. At least for, get, for, for one I, time. Well, in, I, yeah, actually, for, I actually, I actually, I know. Yeah, Riley, for one I time in your life, you're I actually, you start, I want you you're start. actually, I getting some start, information Riley. for one time in your life you're actually getting some information and uh everything and on top of that uh download uh your soul illegally and see where that's going okay all right this will mm -hmm. be james from colorado hello james in colorado Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, okay. I was just wondering, like, I had a couple things uh, to ask you. Um, mm -hmm. For one, I was wondering if you think those quakes are related to aliens, if you think they caused them in Colorado and also in D.C.? No, <laughs> no, I don't think they caused them. Uh, uh, okay. Nonetheless, it does not really surprise me. I'm aware of the fact that there's a fault that runs out of, say, southwest Georgia all the way up. Uh, through, uh, you know, through, uh, the Virginia, D.C., um, Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, and what have you. But it's, it is a, a hard fault. What I call a hard fault is a rock fault. For instance, if you had had, uh, uh, if you had had an earthquake that size on the West Coast, the sandy soil, it would have done a lot more damage. You know what I mean? But, yeah. uh, we are fortunate. And I don't anticipate that happening again in my lifetime, in a way. But then again, you know, no one really knows. Okay. Hey, I also heard some rumors. I don't really believe these rumors. But I heard that you, you have been beating your wife, and I don't believe them because you're so ugly and desperate. There's no way you would beat any woman. And that's right, because then she'd up and leave me like your old lady left you, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next call. <laughs> this would be... Kevin in New Jersey. Hello, Kevin in New Jersey. Hey, Riley. Shout out to you. Shout out to Iran. Well, the shout out to you, Kev. Well, you guys got the phones back working. It would have been uh, pretty, pretty weird just to have you talking the whole time. But I got a question for you. Uh, have you ever had a first contact with a steady paycheck? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, this one study, my good man, as it has, as it checks out, been for the last sixty-five years. If you make it until my age, then uh, you can look back and say, "Oh wow, I'm glad that I made it and still had a steady paycheck." You see what I mean? And whatever. So you should be uh, wishing me well instead of be begrudging me the pittance that I'm making. All right, here's Steve in Brooklyn. Hello, Stephen Buckman. Hi, Okwa Tenjin Ron Riley. How are Okwa you? Okwa Steve. Uh, yeah, I actually have two questions. Um, the, the first one, what what type of vices are, are common amongst the Togsicians? Now, Togsicians are reptilians. I never hung out with them, so I don't know what they are up to, with the exception of sometimes killing cattle and drinking blood. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that's too much. Uh, I, my second question, I actually have a question for Iran. Uh, what, what does Riley's dick taste like? Actually, good man, you could tell us much better than we can tell you, in as much as you seem like you got one in your mouth right now. <laughs> but, but take care of yourself, yeah? Ron in New York. Hello, Ron in New York. Hi, Riley. How are you doing? Okay, Ron. I have a couple of questions for you. Um, number one, I was just wondering, how do I figure out what symbol is the best for me? Well, you, 
Yeah, Ron, I will figure that out. You send me, hopefully, your photograph in some kind of handwriting. You can say hickory dickory dock and uh, give me a lineage. And that's all I need and it's something to see you. I see. Well, how did you figure out Iran's symbol? Did he have to go through the same process? Well, no, I, uh, fortunately, he was around me. And uh, and it was not, not difficult at all. Yeah. I'd like to follow up with one last question. Um, okay. Iran, so how does Riley's dick taste? Oh, uh, my good man, uh, you ought to uh, keep that more or less to yourself, you know? Don't be asking, don't telling, and all that type of stuff, simply because if that's your preference, then I wish you well. You know, there's nothing wrong with you doing that. <laughs> uh, you understand, but that's not our forte. Next call, uh, this is George in California. Hello, George in California. Hey, Riley, what's going on? Uh, I, I heard that the earthquake came from Iran pounding your ass so hard. Uh, no, no, no. It, it, was, it probably came from me, son, playing with myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right, next call, this is uh, Ron in Washington. Hello, Ron. Yeah, hey, hey, what's, what's going on? Uh, I was wondering, how does Iran's penis taste? Uh, well, uh, Ron, how, well, look here. I hear a child in the background. Don't <laughs> you shouldn't talk like that in front of that child. And I hope that someone gets to you to stop you from doing what you are contemplating. Are you fool. All right, here's Jim in Delaware. Hello, Jim in Delaware. Hi, Riley. Look what tangent one, buddy. Look what tangent one, Jim. Yeah, I was wondering, Riley, uh, when you're fucking Iran in the ass, do you give him the whole nine inches or just give him the tip? Oh, uh, well, no. Uh, how much? How many inches can you take there, good man? Next yeah. call, this will be Paul in Minnesota. Hello, Paul in Minnesota. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, okay, yeah. Paul. Um, I heard you guys might be on tomorrow. Is that true? Tomorrow? No, no one has told me that. Uh, okay, I thought maybe because uh, Howard was on vacation that uh, you guys might be doing that. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't on last week. Uh, Howard okay. said that he nixed, you know, that Tim had mentioned it to him when he was, uh, when, uh, you know, Pharrell was off, and he nixed it, and what have you. Uh, you know, uh, who am I to argue with uh, the rich man, the the chief god golem, <laughs> and what have you. You understand. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, Timmy the Pooh. And all of those guys, they know more about it. Maybe they think they're doing the best thing for the company. Heavens forbid that they should be doing it out of narcissistic spite and bigotry and something of that nature. So I have to, you know, defer to their wisdom. Well, I think obviously they're doing it out of bigotry. But uh, also I heard that the earthquake was caused by you dropping humongous loads. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And, uh, but you see, that was a fat lady over your mother's house. <laughs> Is there this much hatred in the in the country? I, I, that's okay. Listen, I have a, I have a that's question. A, that's okay. Listen, I have a question. Around the world, and up your block. It's time for America to wake up. No more bullshit. This is it. It's a revolution. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Ralph Howard. The earthquake was bad news for Riley Martin, the spaceman in Howard 101. The quake itself was not the problem. It's what happened to Riley later on. It's Howard 100 News in depth. Howard 100 News in depth. It is a, a hard fault. What I call a hard fault is a rock fault. For instance, if you had had an earthquake that size on the west coast, the sandy soil, it would have done a lot more damage. Tuesday night's Riley Martin show on the heels of the east coast quake started out focusing on Riley's alleged expertise in seismology, but it quickly went downhill with a barrage of a dozen prank calls. I heard that the earthquake came from Iran pounding your ass so hard. Uh, no, no, no. It, it, was, it probably came from me, son, playing with myself. Also, I heard that the earthquake was caused by you dropping humongous loads. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And, uh, but you see, that was a fat lady over your mother's house. <laughs> <They did that. laughs> I was wondering, how does Iran's penis taste?
was wondering, Riley, uh, when you're fucking Iran in the ass, do you give him the whole nine inches? You just give him the tip. Oh uh, well, no. Uh, how much? How many inches can you take, there, good man? Next call. Riley now claiming to Howard 100 News that the call screeners located in New York were most likely ordered by Tim and Howard to sabotage his show. The probabilities of whoever is screening the calls literally being saddled with at least a dozen crank calls seems to me that uh, that's greater than the odd. But nothing surprises me under the tutelage of uh, Stern and Tim Sabian. It is more or less sabotage. They're going to sabotage the field niggers or something. Uh, even though, uh, you know, I'm only making a pittance here, and they're going to turn around and sabotage that. It has to be the very height of asinine stupidity are the very depths of bigoted low life that would uh, engineer something like this. Stern honcho Tim Sabian saying he has nothing to do with Riley's on-air issues. Absolutely not. We did not set anything up. It's uh, the listeners are hip to the show. They know you know what he's all about, and uh, they call him up and they prank him on their own. So we have nothing to do with it. And there's more. What led Riley to abruptly end our conversation? A uh, fucking course. Uh, what what do you want me to say, kids? And uh, what are you angling after? You know, if uh, if you fuck over somebody, doesn't matter if you are Jew or Gentile. You're still a chicken shit son of a bitch. Where the fuck are you gonna go when they fire your ignorant ass? What the hell are you talking about? So hey, you, I gotta go. That part of the story coming up. John Lieberman, Howard 100 News. Next call, this is Bill in Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill in Pennsylvania. Hey, guys. I, I've been looking at your YouTube videos uh, that you mentioned earlier, and uh, I really like the Riley Martin prank collection. That was really good that you put together that there. Mm -hmm. um, I've, and I, yeah, I've been looking at my telescope towards Saturn. What? I, I've been looking for the mothership, and um, but I'm thinking I should point it directly at your anus. Yeah, well, well, no, Uranus. Yeah, well, you point, point, point it at Uranus, good man, and you, uh, you will see something. You know, it's red and hairy, no doubt. <laughs> All right, next call. This is Jim in Colorado. Hello, Jim in Colorado. Jim Olajuwon, man. Well, 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 I'm still Olajuwon. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I had another question, but I heard you talking that you were saying our DNA is uh, in like horses and deers and all that. Yeah, you know, some some portions thereof. You know, is your DNA in Iran's ass? <laughs> uh, uh, Jim, Jim, uh, uh, you know, I thought it was some real nice people out in Colorado, man. Yeah, <laughs> there are some. I used to yeah, I'm sure it like is. That. Yeah, this will be Tom. Uh, excuse me, Josh in Kentucky. Hello, Josh in Kentucky. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, I was wondering if you're able to communicate telepathically with Iran's penis. <laughs> uh, uh, Kristen in Dallas. Hey, Kristen. That's Kristen. That's my Kristen. Kristen. Wait, wait, is this really you, Riley? This is me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a long-time listener and a first-time uh, pranker. Oh, okay. Prank we, we don't have that much time. All right. Okay, I think he's done. Yeah. All right. Uh, here is Lewis in Boston, Riley. Hello, Lewis in Boston. Hello, guys. Hello, Riley. How you guys doing tonight? Oh, okay, Lewis. How are you? Good. That's good. Uh, I just wanted to. I just got your book. I wanted to encourage everybody out there to to read your book. Yes. Get the Millennium Edition. And also log on to thecosmiclegend.com and get your ATL lecture, which is great. Thanks. And don't, and don't forget everybody to get his music CD because the music CD is great. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, also, everybody, um, don't forget to uh, to blow me because your show sucks. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, thanks for, for the advertisement, though. Uh, go to Riley Martin, R-I-L-E-Y-M-A-R-T-I-N. And uh, get the millennium edition of the book. Uh, get the the original comment of tan book. 
get your symbols, people. A great deal of things is happening. Here's Dexter in Georgia. Hello, Dexter. Hey, guys. How are you doing tonight? Okay, Dex. It's great to hear you on this week. Uh, my question relates to a bunch of UFO sightings down here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But we uh, we saw a UFO like hovering over a bunch of trailer parks. Uh, were they were they trying to pick up Matt Panther or? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but they should. Sure, the man's uh, quite brilliant uh, in a strange way. He's really really brilliant uh, in electronics and things of that nature. All right, here's Bill in Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill. Hey, Riley, man. I got to call you out. Like, you're cutting off all these calls that are real critical of the show. Anybody that has anything against your principles, you always hang out. Well, no, it's not the principles. Anytime you talk about banging little boys in the butt and all that type of stuff, you're wasting my so, time. I'm not man. talking... I'm not yeah. talking about that kind yeah. of stuff, but if people disagree with your knowledge of space, well, you always hang up, and correct. that ruins your own credibility. Well, correct me uh, if something I say about space uh, can be corrected, good man. Well, I will, because... I think that I answer questions uh, to the best of my ability. I don't just cut them off unless they are doing... Uh, the. Uh, skullduggery and uh, dirty, uh, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. I don't uh, cut a person off. Ask a question about space, and I will give you my knowledge of it. I mean, for one example, like, you'll you'll talk about the event horizon where all the planets line up, you know, and that's yeah. not what an event horizon is. That's well, like, my goodness, good man, look, black look. Hole. Yeah, for and, yeah, for six million people who died during the Second World War, at the moment of death, that was their event horizon. You understand? So therefore, you event what horizon is that? What does is, not necessarily. What is civil war? Yeah, what I'm what saying is, is civil war yeah, have uh, what I'm saying the is, the horizon. event horizon is anything that's final. Is anything? It doesn't have to be the planets flying up. But in this case, it just happens to be one of those things. So the event horizon does not necessarily mean a cosmic event at all times. Anything that comes to a finality uh, that's mortal to the living being is an event horizon for that particular being or that particular race or that particular creed or that particular country. You see what I mean? So this is yeah. what I mean oh. about the event horizon. Well, is the event horizon like Iran semen fall? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, see, uh, that you have reverted to such ignorance, even though you are, I believe, an intelligent man, uh, really breaks my heart and all of this when you should be thinking about them uh, shooting your mama up with some poison to keep her from getting a pill in the future, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Omar in Georgia. Hello, Omar in Georgia. Hey, man, I got a question for you. I mean, yeah. what's stopping me from buying a bunch of symbols for, like, members of Al-Qaeda and blowing up the goddamn mothership? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, hey, kid, <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they're out to do wrong, son, it won't help them. It won't help them at all. You understand? Josh in Pennsylvania, Riley. Hello, Josh in Pennsylvania. Hey, Riley, man. Dude, mm -hmm. tonight... You said something about, like, it's going to rain in the next week, you ask the aliens, but it, it's already rained out in Colorado, and the fire ban has been lifted as of Friday. Oh, okay. Well, I'm behind the times, kid. But I, uh, okay. Yeah, I asked them, like, last week. But okay. Also, how much did you pay that first caller to plug your book like that? That was a total impact. Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, no. Uh, they That's seem Cindy. So many, so many, yeah, Cindy. When so many people, when they get the, uh, the symbols, they report that things seem to fall into place better for them. And she is just one of many. And a lovely family they are. You should see them. They are very special. Yeah. Uh, it seemed pretty made up to me, man. Like you planned that whole thing. Well, well no, no, I don't do that, kid. You know. Do you have a question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, in fact, I wouldn't have any money. I wouldn't have any. Yeah, I wouldn't have any money to pay. Commercial. Yeah. I support your, inform your infomercial. You just hang up on them. Oh, uh, the infomercial? Oh, uh, beats me, man. I did an infomercial one time. All right, next call. Here's mm -hmm. Jim in Colorado. Hello, Jim in Colorado. Hey, guys, how you doing? Um, okay. Hey, before I get to my question about the hoverboard, so I just got your book and, well, started reading it anyway. Okay. And 
becoming a tan. And I was just wondering, which chapter does tan come in your mouth? Uh, well, uh, son, you keep on doing that yourself. And, you know, uh, you ought to just... Uh, you ought to quit doing that because you know why? You're going to have all of these listeners mad at you and that, that madness is going to go out into the ether and ultimately you're going to be melting down in some type of little wormy uh, type of uh, pity situation and you should not invite that upon yourself and waste these people's valuable time. Dead wrong. Here's mm -hmm. Bill in Mississippi. Hello, Bill in Mississippi. Oh, shit, what up, Rodney, man? It's blowing like a motherfucker down here. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying, you, man? It's, yeah, you guys are getting it. Holy shit, man, I got like, broken windows and all that, man. It's blowing real hard. Right. It doesn't blow as hard as your wife, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it does. He really was in Mississippi, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, he's still in Mississippi. Dead wrong. Here is Mark in Texas. Hello, Mark in Texas. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Uh, okay, Mark. Would you mind if I asked you, like, a, it's not real personal, but a somewhat mm -hmm. personal question? Well, it depends. Go ahead, Mark. It's fine. Um, what is your favorite sandwich? Oh, my favorite sandwich? Like, uh, like turkey, like BLT, cheesesteak? Yeah. Like yeah, well, actually, I like a good, uh, what do you call them sandwiches? You run this long, long sandwiches. It's like, how, like, Submarine. I like, submarine. A, I like a nice, like, Italian, like, a nice Italian. Yeah, Italian. yeah, submarine. I, I like the submarine ever so often. You know what I mean? I do. But most of the time, I do 99% of the cooking around here. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Next call, this is Kevin in Georgia. Hello, Kevin in Georgia. Hey, guys. How are you tonight? Okay. Good. I actually have a follow-up question to the sandwich question. Mm -hmm. um, I believe there's like some controversy with your answer. I think uh, your favorite kind of sandwich is here on cock. <laughs> here's, Eddie, here's Eddie in Pennsylvania, Riley. Eddie in Pennsylvania. And welcome to the Ronald Mons Show. <laughs> All right, let's take some calls then, if okay. you wish. Mm -hmm. All right, this will be John in Arizona. Hello, John, Arizona. Hey, Mr. Martin. How are you? Yeah, I, I want to ask you something before I get to my question. You know when you did that two-hour special? Right. And you were vomiting? Why were you vomiting? Did you swallow too much cum? Uh, well, no, no, good man. I had something like a stomach virus. Uh, but what you have got is a soul virus uh, that's eating you up because you're hoping that Mitt Romney will let you come over and drink from his toilet. Pity a screech of you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Cyrus. Hello, Riley. Anyway, uh, the Biavians never came out with, like, a satellite technology for you to not have to beg uh, Howard for a job? Uh, well, I mean, otherwise, I'm not begging him for a job. I figure if I worked for you, Cyrus, for four years, that probably you would give me a raise or uh, move me up a notch or something of that nature. But then again, you are uh, a decent human being, are you not? Yeah, but so aren't the Beavians bigger than uh, human beings, and shouldn't they give you a raise? Well, I mean, my goodness, son, I'm not uh, broadcasting from outer space. But I'm here, do, um, and I'm doing a job, I'm doing a job here, and uh, I do not request anything that I have not earned. If I'm not worth it, don't give it to me. Like a and that's rep. all that I have to deal with in the, the relativity of where I am and what I'm doing, you know? Yeah, I mean, and uh, what kind of beer do they have there? What kind of food poisoning do they have in uh, outer space? Well, anything you want, son, they will make it for you. Okay. Well, then they can make your job happen for you, right? Well, now, you could. No, I can't. I ain't nobody. Well, I mean, otherwise, if enough of you... Would chime in, you could. Well, I'm chiming in on behalf of uh, my Jew friends. Mm, repeat. I'm chiming in on, my, on behalf of my Jew, fr my Jewish friend, my half Jewish friend. Yeah. And Tim, on behalf and of him. Yeah, on behalf of him. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, kid, maybe he will give you some of the five hundred million dollars he's got, or or, or, or me another hour. I uh, know he might even he might just answer a call, but then sometimes he won't. Like you don't have to depend on other people for your shit. Like you got to make sure. Well, no, it's out. like this: is their station. It is up to you if I am worthy to get some more time. I don't or if I'm interesting it. enough for you to do it. Let me tell you something. I don't pay for Howard Channels because then I'll pay less. I pay for Sirius. Sirius is on behalf of what you do. Not Howard. Uh, son, he hired me. He yeah, on to Yeah, right. And plus, he does a lot of things for uh, those people who've been sucking up to him for years. He got them jobs and he got them raises and everything else. But uh, that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. You know. But you got I'm really not. Yeah, I'm really not. But you don't have to speak up for him. You know? You don't have to speak up for him. I'm not speaking up for him. I, I just think you fucking wrong is uh, two left shoes and shit. Uh, in what manner? You're not right. Uh, in what manner to ask you for a raise after four years or a little more time? That makes me a villain. You're not a villain. That's not what he was saying. That's not what I'm saying. What you, are you just. Saying? All I'm saying is. You you uh, find the deal that you get, and you have to earn your job, and you don't even see that Howard might not even be on after all this. And yeah, people are interested in you, but they might not. You know, once Howard's gone, is there any interest? It's almost like even Miami Vice got canceled, and then they made a major motion picture. Are you Miami? Well, it's, yeah, yeah, son. If you figure. That you can cancel the data that I'm giving you, ever, then you're rudely mistaken. But thanks for the call, man. I'm not rudely mistaken. I'm just uh, right. Not like you. Uh, All right, moving along. This if, I, if I were turned around, son, he'd break your nose, wouldn't he? <laughs> Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hello, Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hey, uh, also on me and Bacon, my brother. Hey, Riley, mm -hmm. I, I'd like to ask your uh, your feeling on uh, this black on black show. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing, seeing that you were, uh, you know, prior to these uh, these two guys, uh, you were the, the token Negro there at uh, on, on the <laughs> yeah. <channel>. yeah. <laughs> uh, now, 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 these two uh, unqualified shines come in and get ten hours of airtime last week to yeah. uh, cover <laughs> Scotty Perel. And then, yeah. how does this work? Uh, well, this is unreasonable. Well, it was how it's doing because he said he nixed me. He told Tim, you know, I don't think people need that much Riley or what have you. I disagree with him. I wish I had been in the lineup. However, uh, uh, you know, uh, the guys, I'm glad that they made some bucks or were able to make some bucks, and I'm not mad at them or anything like that. It's not their fault. Uh, you know what I mean, and I'm, I'm certainly not mad at them, but I wish they had given me a couple of hours or something since I've been here about six years. You know what I mean? Well, I, well, I would certainly certainly think you're entitled. Uh, well, uh, certainly. Uh, uh, but I mean, uh, you're Howard the, didn't. You're, Howard, you're the head nigger on the totem pole over there. Yeah, right? yeah well, well, uh, yeah, well, you know, otherwise, uh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, not necessarily the head jigaboo. But, uh, you know, I'm working my way up to the Mouse's house. Thanks. All right. This is Tim in Arizona. <laughs> Hello, Tim in Arizona. The only reason you're on the channel is because it's a goof. You got fingered by aliens. You're a fucking idiot. Uh, well, my goodness. And uh, I suppose the highest uh, uh, creatures in the universe is you. <laughs> and, and, and we've shown up in a lot of trouble. You ain't lying. <laughs> All right, next call. This is Jared in Kansas. Hello, Jared in Kansas. Hi. Hey, hey Riley. This uh -huh. is Jared. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, uh, I know a lot of people think you're, a, um, for lack of a better word, like a crackhead. And well, okay. I, I, I believe in everything you're saying, sir. Well, uh, I mean, otherwise, uh, how would they gather that opinion of me being a crackhead, kid? I've done this show for six years, you know. And, uh, but anyway, you got a question? All right, thanks for that call. Yeah. Next call, this is Jason in Philadelphia. Hello, hello, Jason. Riley, what's going on, man? Oh, not much, Jason. Quick question. 
Have you honestly ever sat down and listened to like a playback of your show? Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, it's gibberish. I can't well, understand the word you're saying. Well, you actually okay, want well, Howard to pay well, you more money? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, apparently, uh, various others think that they do understand. So I'm so sorry, good man, that you do not understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, so start back at start you, back over at kindergarten. Quick question. Have you ever mm -hmm. talked to Bofa? Uh, uh, have you? Lee in New Mexico. Hello, Lee in New Mexico. Bublé. Hey, Riley. Mm-hmm. I heard Howard say the reason Steve Langford quit is uh, Steve went to your house to interview you, and he saw you beating the shit out of your wife. Uh, well, well, my goodness. Why Stupid. Did, yeah, yeah. Why did not he uh, would have stepped in and stopped that, son? All right. Next call. This would be Dave Magnolia. Hello, Dave Magnolia. Hello, Mr. Martin. I heard it made it from Magic the Beyond Real Secrets of Flash Point of Time when they get back into the future and get digging with the Neptunians, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> I see lots of stars and stripes in the sky and I want to wipe my ass with your symbol. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 son. Oh, uh, oh. When you do that, <laughs> then uh, then uh, you try to live another seven days, okay? Rob in New Jersey. Hello, <laughs> Rob in New Jersey. Oh, quad engine one, my brother. Oh, quad engine one, Rob. Hey, I got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. I did get a symbol. I liked it so much I had it tattooed on my arm. Okay. Uh, um, I am... Uh, interested in your bare knuckle background because I'm also a, a prize fighter. Right. Well, did you keep your record? Do you know what your record was? Twenty-one and zero. Oh shit! Was um? Does that include your wife? And uh, well, uh, well, no, no, or? no. My old lady, my old lady would kick your ass. <laughs> right. Next guy, these fools. <laughs> Rob in New Jersey. Hello, <laughs> Rob in New Jersey. Oh, quad tension one, my brother. Oh, quad tension one, Rob. Hey, I got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. I did get a symbol. I liked it so much I had it tattooed on my arm. Okay. Uh, um, I am uh, interested in your bare knuckle background because I'm also a, a prize fighter. Right. Well, did you keep your record? Do you know what your record was? 21 and 0. Oh, shit. Was, um, does that include your wife? And uh, was that a uh, was well, that no, a no, or? no, my old lady, my old lady would kick your ass. <laughs> uh, next call, these fools. All right, yeah. here's Justin in Rhode Island. Hello, Justin in Rhode Island. Hey, happy holidays, Riley. Happy holidays, Justin. Yeah, I just had a question. Uh, out of all the species you've encountered, uh, which one gave it to you up the ass the best? Uh, well, uh, no, it was like uh, the one that gave it to you uh, fell in love with you, <laughs> so they passed on by me. <laughs> yeah, that stuff done played out, idiots. Yeah. Here's Tony in California, Riley. Hello, Tony in California. Hey, Riley, I'm a big fan, big fan. Thanks, Tony. I'm so curious, uh, when he runs not uh, on the air, is he uh, giving you a suck in your dick? Uh, 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 hey, uh, hey, kid, why don't you go on back and uh, continue doing what you're doing, man? <laughs> this is Toast in Chicago. What's going on, Riley? Hey, how are you, Toast? Uh, not too bad, brother. Hey, quick question for you. I was just kind of curious. What I mean, like, what's, like, the, you know, the Biavians eating, uh, you know, habits? I mean, is it, like... I mean, are they herbivores? Are they like... Right. Like oh, yeah. They are, they, the avians are strict vegetarians. Now, they... But they do not eat solids. They render it down into a liquid. And they'll take a little sip of that liquid, and it's a nutrient for them. However, if you were on the ship, uh, they would give you whatever you wanted. I had steak. I had bacon. I had eggs. I had cash browns and things like that. And uh, but it's made out of vegetable matter. But I could not tell that it was not meat. You understand? But yeah, they are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. 
Well, then that throws out your wife's smelly pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. All right, back to the calls. Here's Mark in Los Angeles. Hello, Mark in Los Angeles. Are you there, Mark? All right, let's go. Evan in Vermont. Hello, Evan in Vermont. Hi, Mr. Martin. Nice to right. with you. I'm a big fan. Thank you. Um, I wanted to get your opinion on, recently Stephen Hawking came out with a, uh, a, a controversial statement that he believes aliens, in fact, uh, do exist, no. but communication with them could be problematic for the human race. So m- my question for you um, is, what does Iran's asshole taste like? Um. Ah! Like your mama's. <laughs> Next mm-hmm. call, this is uh, Steve in Ohio. Hello, Steve in Ohio. Hey, what's going on, Riley? Oh, nothing much, Steve. Hey, I just wanted to, uh, to know about the rumor that uh, that Iran was drinking uh, nut juice cocktails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, okay, kid. Uh, you keep drinking them, okay? Uh, Here's Larry in Nevada. Hello, Larry in Nevada. Hello, Martin. And Mr. Martin, I was wondering if you would think that your whole alien thing is just bullshit and that it's a (laughs) way for the devil to deceive you. So I'm just wondering if that has ever come into your mind, that you might burn in hell one day. Oh, well, my goodness, good man. (laughs) It is possible that that I might burn in hell, providing I'm a bad man. But I'm not a bad man, I can assure you, good man. God made them as well as he made us. <laughs> okay. Here's Carl in Pennsylvania. Hello, Carl in Pennsylvania. Carl? Good to have you on, on prime time. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? So if I could get it yeah, hey, permanent. Hey, can I fuck your wife in the ass? Uh, well, no, I don't think she would let you do that. Uh, let you do that. Uh, you understand? And I'd have to, you know, kill you. <laughs> Uh, people, David, da- Daniel, and Gerald Conrad. Now, I'm very mad. This is Chris in Chicago. Hello, Chris in Chicago. Hey, Riley. Uh, I have, uh, I actually have some inside information about why you're not getting more hours from uh, Sirius. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Oh well. All right. Nobody likes you. Oh, well, I mean, nobody well, I did, cares about yeah, right. If they did not, if they did not, if they did not, if they did not, no, maybe, maybe nobody at Sirius liked me. Comment at that. Maybe nobody at Sirius liked me. Nobody at Sirius may like me, but I, I know for sure that the world does. The people in the world does. The people in the world does. You're, well, listen, you're not getting any hours because nobody uh, likes you. You're full. Next call. Uh, young man, the people in the world likes me, or else I wouldn't be here. You understand that? Uh, uh, Steven, uh, uh, we're being sponsored by Steven Singer Jewelers. Uh, this is Sean in Long Island. Hello, Sean in Long Island. Well, uh, as my brother. Uh, well, as uh, Sean. Mm-hmm. Hey, Riley, what are you drinking tonight, Riley? Hmm? You drinking anything tonight, Riley? Uh, no, my good man, I'm not. Uh, why'd you ask? Well, okay, no, no, I'm having a little Hennessy, and I, I, I'm going to give you a call tonight, my brother. Yeah, sure. Um, well, my ex-lady had a um, punch an abduction back in the 90s, and uh, she was driving across the country with a friend in Arizona area, New Mexico border, and she noticed a bright light. And she thought it was a truck in um, 10 or so miles, and uh, her car suddenly stopped, and she realized. This. Mm-hmm. So um, the next thing she remembered, she was surrounded by, uh, like, five or six beings. She could not identify what kind of sex they were. But she specifically remembers that old standard anal probe. But uh, this is where it gets weird. She was eventually let go, and after that experience, she said she had this fondness for anal sex, and... That's all she did. I thought the girl was kidding. Well, my goodness, uh, a lot of people. It's just, it's just well, uh, in the, yeah, in in, in in the world, a lot of people have a fondness for that. But uh, I hope that that's not your prerogative, young man. 
You understand. Well, no, Riley, Riley, yeah, this yeah. Started yeah, well, you understand. I hope that that's not your prerogative. But uh, nobody proved me. However, they did knock the engine out of my car in 87. All uh, right. Well, all right, here's Ron in Florida. Hello, Ron in Florida. Yeah, what's up, Riley? Yeah, not much, Ron. Yeah, I was wondering if you seen this uh, Rick Santorum went in Minnesota tonight. Uh, Rick Santorum? Oh. Yeah, he, did you... Oh yeah, well he won. I don't like. What, yeah, he I don't won. like that guy's. Um, I don't like that guy's policy about how he won't let you uh, fags get married. You yeah. Know? Well, well, I mean, otherwise, uh, in the, but you know, I'm uh, I'm in your corner. If that is your persuasion, young man, then uh, he probably ultimately maybe he won't. But I believe that ultimately all of society will let you guys get married, okay? Michael in Los Angeles. Hello, Michael in Los Angeles. Hey, Riley. How you doing? Okay. Uh, I had a question. I was reading recently about uh, faster-than-light-speed travel, mm -hmm. which I figure would be necessary for intergalactic uh, transfers. But mm -hmm. I also read that time stops when you hit the speed of light. Yes. But what I was wondering is, if you're traveling at the speed of light, are Iran's balls still salty? Yeah, uh, well, uh, no, but if you're traveling at the speed of light, son, uh, then uh, you ought to slow it down and then sniff your own ball. Mm -hmm. All right, here's Jimmy in Pennsylvania. Hello, Jimmy in Pennsylvania. Hello, Riley. Oh, mm -hmm. Jim. Oh, got attention one. I'm just wondering how um, Iran dictates you mm -hmm. fucking bag. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, kid. Why are they so angry? No, no, I don't know. Alone tonight. I don't know. Uh, well, no, no, it well, is. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. But still, you understand, I realize uh, that uh, they've had such misery yeah. in their life. Um, that woman left them. Uh, they uh, have sucked uh, Carl Rose's toes if they could get to him. Mm. And things of this nature. I cleaned his toilet. I smelled his dirty drawers. And therefore, they are mad at the world. It's not just me, kid. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, bless their hearts. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, here is uh, Evan in Canada. Hello, Evan in Canada. Hey, Riley. Hi. I have a question for you. Do you think the moon landing was fake just like every time you fuck your wife, she fakes it? Oh. Uh, uh, well, no, I, my wife might fake it sometime, but the moon landing was real good, man. Come on, Canada. <laughs> All right, here's yeah. Hash in San Diego. Right? Hello, Hash in San Diego. Hey, Riley, how you doing? Oh, Clark, okay. how are you? Oh, Clark, Tangent Juan, Hash. All right, good. Hey, I, I was the last caller last week. I just had a quick question. I, I did I did ask you about, uh, you said, what if you died? You said that there was a clone of you. But now that mm -hmm. Matt Panther's gone, I just wondered, what does Iran's dick taste like? <laughs> Uh, well, kid, uh, you know, it's like you go ahead and keep on doing what you're doing, and uh, then you tell me what the, it tastes like with your boyfriend, okay? <laughs> with this type of hatred and fear from people. Well, that's okay. It seems like uh, we'll never make it, right? Or some, uh, oh, the yeah, majority but, of humans yeah, won't make it, well, right? They, you they, have to admit yeah, that, right? Well, these idiots do not represent uh, the bulk of humanity at large, you understand <laughs> what they would. I hope not. Yeah, what they would love to do is smell uh, uh, mitts, a uh, toilet stool, and they would be just happy and all that, and 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 ride up and down on his car elevator <laughs> and what have you, and then go back home and uh, tackle their sisters. So you know that's you got them. You're okay. gonna have them. Mm -hmm. Here is George in the Bronx. Hello, George in the Bronx. Hello, Mr. Martin. How are hey, you? I want to try. I put your album on um, the internet there. And I mm -hmm. want to know if, while you were singing them songs, was Jimmy Sandor? Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, people, <laughs> uh, let me shout on out here. This is Mike in New York. Hello, Mike in New York. Hello, Mr. Riley. It's a pleasure to talk to you. What? I'm the what? first time caller. Mm -hmm. but I, I bought the book. I bought the symbols, uh, three symbols for me, my wife, and my daughter. Beautiful. But something uh, bothered me that in 1953, with the lights above the river for three days, are you sure it wasn't the police helicopters <laughs> watching you and 
Jerry uh, Sandusky fucking uh, 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 uh. Well, I tell you what, uh, it, was a, it was a long after that three days that helicopters was over the river. <laughs> you understand? And other guys, military people. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's Chris from Arizona. Hello, Chris from Arizona. Come on, Chris. Well, come on, Chris. Chris? Come on. Okay. All right. Here's an email. Here's an email. This is, uh, this is... This email question is from Rob Weldon. I don't know. We're trying to get rid of Chris, Chris. But anyway, I'm going to talk over it. This email question is from Rob Weldon. Okay. And he's asking. Well, how is that? This is this is Rob Weldon. Yeah. How is that that uh, this call cannot be discontinued? You know, yeah. What is up on that? I don't Has he it. figured out a different way to interfere? Yes. This, this is the second question. week it's happened. That's a good question. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what's the matter with you people?